Hey, all right, everybody, how is it going? Now, I got a story by Hugh in front of me, and it's from the Auto Express, and it says, cheaper electric cars are on their way as battery prices collapse. Now, talking of cheaper cars, because cheaper cars seem to be coming thick and fast, um, I watched a video today uh, from electro -Fi in I think it's called, um, and they were driving a Dacia Spring, and I did look in the comment section, because I like to go and look in the comment section sometimes to see what the first couple of people say, and somebody said in the comment section that the first batch of Dacia Springs coming to the UK have already sold out. So is that true? Does anybody know if they've already sold out the first batch coming to the UK? If, it, if you know, put it in the comment section, because sometimes the comments in the comment section are made up. You don't really know if they're true or not. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Sometimes. Now and again, they could be true. They could be false. Um, but anyway, let's get back to cheaper electric cars. And another thing I want to talk about as well, just a little bit, is the old McMaster. I haven't talked about him in a while, have I? Uh, he just put a video out today. He just put a video out. <laughs> and... It's the, 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 what's it called? The, the heading, the headline, or whatever, the, the, he's called it, um, something like, are electric, is electromagnetic, <laughs> is, are electric cars more, more, what, what was it? I can't remember what it was now. It was something to do with electromagnetic something, and is it worse than sitting and being cooked in a microwave? So he's, it's something like along the lines of, is it worse for him sitting in an electric car than being cooked in a microwave? I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And then go and have a look at the comment section. Go and have a look at the comment section. It's unbelievable because there's people, but it's just flying around. You go and look in the comment section and there's people thinking that what he's saying is factual when he's just a parody of himself. <laughs> he's just a, a, he's become a parody parody of himself, if you know what I mean. I think he's even said that the McMaster, he said himself, is the McMaster is like a, a showbiz, showbiz version of himself, okay? So it's not, he's not there to give, He's not, he's not saying he's factual. He doesn't, he doesn't make statements saying he's factual. So I'm not having a go at him for that. I'm just having at the people in the comment section. You go down and it's like as if his opinion is above scientists. It, it just, it baffles my mind. It baffles my mind. But anyway, I, I was more baffled by the, 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 his headline was like one of the, one of the worst he's ever done. Is sitting in my electric car worse than being cooked in a microwave? Well, the answer is no, because if you was being cooked in a microwave, you'd die <laughs> pretty soon, <laughs> if you could fit in a microwave. Um, so the, the, it's absurd. He knows it's absurd, but it, it, what I, what, what's baffling me is he knows it's absurd, right? He knows that his headline is, you know, ridiculous. He knows that, right? He knows, but it's it get the clickbait, isn't it? But then when you go into the comment section, some of the people are like, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, do you know, I started talking about, <laughs> I wanted to talk about battery prices. I've gone on a waffle now, haven't I? Anyway, so, uh, so I, I wasn't really having a go with them. I, I was sort of having a go with the, the people in the comment section. It seems a bit bizarre. It's bizarre. Anyway, so EVs already undercut ICE models in China and price parity between electric and ICE cars may arrive much faster than expected in Europe. That's what it says by her from Auto Express. Um, now, I have been reading that battery prices are falling and they've fallen quite a lot, um, which is good news if you want to buy a new EV. Uh, so I said the price of battery cells has dropped by half in a year as the companies producing them battle with over capacity and cut prices to retain market share. Um, and it says the factors driving a 51% drop in the price of battery cells as reported by Bloomberg NEF or BNEF analysts. 
uh, include a, a drop in price of the raw materials uh, such as lithium and lower than predicted demand for the global transition to electric cars, which is happening more slowly than the battery industry hoped. Um, so it's saying by you that battery prices are dropping and maybe going to drop even more. Now, I've discussed this uh, on this channel before and what I've noticed is that some car, car manufacturers, when battery prices become cheaper, they put a bigger blinking battery in the car <laughs> so the car doesn't become cheaper. So, so instead of making the car cheaper and doing the same miles and the same battery, they put a bigger battery in. Stop it! Stop it! Not everybody wants a massive battery. <laughs> well, it, it, well, it all depends. If they put a bigger battery in and the price went down, that would be nice. But then, a, a bigger battery, which is heavier, would make the re reduce the range. You know what I mean, right? So it's all, uh, you know, the, the, you 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 give with one hand, but you take away with the other. If you know what I mean. So. If battery prices come down, don't just make car batteries bigger and make the car more expensive. Make them cheaper. Cheaper is nice. Now the I was talking about the is that, this video is a lot of waffle, but I was talking about the Dacia Spring, and that's only got a twenty six point something kilowatt hour battery in it, which is only a, a smidge bigger than the original Nissan Leaf. But the difference is with this car is it weighs under a thousand kilograms so it's, it's like 900 and something kilograms and they said that they were getting 7.4 or 7.5 uh, miles per kilowatt hour uh, which is I think I watched the EV man is it called EV man he said he was getting in the summer 7.5 watts 7.5 miles per kilowatt hour on his when he had was using uh, the Volkswagen up which was a small car. So with a 26 odd kilowatt hour battery in the Dacia Spring, even though it's smaller, because it's so efficient, it goes quite a bit further. And it's quite a cheap car, isn't it? I think it's 15,000 pounds for the cheapest one, but I think most people will pick the one with a slightly more powerful motor, which is somewhere about 16 or 17,000 pounds, which is still cheap. It's cheaper than a, it's cheaper than a Corsa, a petrol Corsa, so it is quite cheap. So, battery prices are dropping, electric cars are going to get cheaper. Uh, do you think that's going to encourage people to buy electric cars more? Is it going to stay the same? Uh, is, is it going to plateau, keep plateauing? What do you think? Put in the comment section. Battery prices making electric cars cheaper? Will more people buy them? Will it still stay like plateau in because it's not going to go down I don't think I don't think battery sales are going to go down because most people you've seen in all these studies and stuff most people will buy an electric car will buy another electric car when that one is past its sell by date or oh, for every reason so there's going to be a big market for electric cars going forward if no new people bought electric cars if you know what I mean anyway I'm going to stop waffling uh, what do you think? Put in the comment section. If you did like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy!